Hello and welcome back to Andrew's Tabletop Gaming. Today we are going to be opening some more Champion's Path. I have an Elite Trainer Box to open. Um, we will go through it and uh, open the packs and hopefully pull the big shiny Charizard or the even bigger shiny Charizard VMAX Rainbow Rare. But first, I'd like to do a public service announcement. So let's put this back over here. Um, went shopping in Costco today and they have Pokemon products in. Um, if you're from the States and watching this, welcome. Um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you know what's going on. Um, but in the UK, we do not have a lot of shops that sell Pokemon products, especially ranges of Pokemon products, um, and especially stuff like this that's fairly old. You just can't get hold of it. Um, but they had these Ultra Beast GX collection boxes, premium collection. As far as I can see in here, there's eight packs of cards. We do have Steam Siege in here, which is a bit of a shame, but you can't have everything. There's still some nice stuff in here. There's some Crimson Invasion, some Sun and Moon, some Evolutions. There's also a mat, which is very nice. A Jumbo Buzzwall GX. And two Alt Art Buzzwall and Zerkatry GX cards as well. A quick look on the back. I'll just show you what the mat looks like. Hang on, that's a better picture which looks quite cool as I do not have a Pokemon mat myself because I haven't got my Marnie premium collection yet um, I thought why not give it a go so this was £26 in Costco which I believe is about what $32 $33 in the States um, so yeah pretty cool um, they had two versions of that and they also had these bad boys three pack pokeballs which are cool and these were 22 pounds so about 28 29 us dollars something like that um making these just over seven pound each which is quality value um but as I said, we will not be opening these on the stream today. We have bigger and better things to be doing. These will be opened on stream, on, on stream, on a video um, in the future because we're not streaming. We're on YouTube. So back to the main event. We are going to crack this elite trainer box open. We'll, get, we'll, we'll quickly go through what's in here. Um, and I'm sure most of you watching Champions Path uh, videos are more than aware of what you get. You get the lovely outside, which has all the artwork. If you've seen that from all the pack arts inside, uh, actually a lovely piece of art itself. I may actually get one of these, try and get one of these framed. Which, uh, very nice. Let's chuck that over there. You have the Champion's Path book, which, sorry, I'm looking at my camera. I'll get used to not looking at my camera with my new setup, which has all of the um, chase cards in it, including the Shine Charizard, which I showed you in my last video. Go watch it. It was all right. Um, and then you at the back you have a list of all the cards you're looking for including all the rare cards uh, in the set including the shiny Charizard and the suspicious Putin and the Gigantamax Charizard V awesome cool goes you also get a lovely box with some cardboard in it to separate everything off it goes you also get a book to tell you how to 
play the game, which is pretty sweet. If you're going to buy these products, I know a lot of you just collect, but you may want to learn how to play. You get the Charizard V Alt Art, which is only in these boxes. It's absolutely glorious. This one will probably stay in the wrapper as I've opened my previous one. Stick that down there. You get Elegies. You get 60 v Charizard VMAX sleeves, which are very cool for sleeving up your cards, but don't use them to play because they're rubbish for that. Let's stick that off to one side. You get your code card, my code card. <laughs> you get your dividers. And you get 10 packs of Champion's Path. You get your Poison and Burn tokens. I'll chuck it in my cup of tea. And you get a pack of dice. Nice orange, glittery, shiny um, heads or tails dice with the set symbol on it. And the damage dice, which are black and orange or black and red. So, very nice. And that's it. And you obviously get a lovely box that you can use for storing your cards. But, let's be honest, the main event is here. 10 packs of Champion's Power, 10 cards in each one, chance of a Charizard twice. Double, double Charizard. Well, I imagine hitting two Charizards in one box. Wow, well, that would be nuts. Um, so the big things I'm looking for, I like the shiny energy cards. Um, so I've got three of those and a double of one already. So let's just, let's just start cracking packs and see what we get. I've got my sleeves ready and here we go. So, obviously I'd like to pull stuff for, I'm going to give the code cards away as well today. I'd like stuff for my set, but, you know, any of the shiny goodness would be great. So, uh, let's do the card trick. Four from the back. And we'll start with a Darkness Energy. Piers. Team Yell Grunt, Hop, I think I've said this in my other videos, but awesome, awesome new artwork for Hop. Galarian Linoon, a full heel, Purloin, Kakuna, Trubbish, a reverse potion, and a Scrafty, Hollow Rare, which I don't have, out of the 19 packs I pulled. Yesterday, I did not pull this guy. So this is one for the set, which is cool. So let's put the reverse up there. Next. So yeah, if you've seen my other video, I only pulled one VMAX. I only pulled one of the um, full arts. So there's the codes. But got um, a few V's, so seven seven decent hits out of the uh, out of the boxes and pin boxes that I opened. So Leaf Energy, Sharpedo, Piers, Hatrem, Scraggy, Caravana, Zigzagoon, Kakuna, Roly Coley, a Reverse Machamp, which I don't believe I have either. And hey, so. This was the only VMAX I actually pulled. So let's slip uh, into, so I've got two Alchemy VMAXs, which is not the worst thing in the world, because, you know, I'll probably gonna make a deck with Alchemy. So, so, pretty nice hit. Next packet. 
Club car for y'all. And we have a lightning energy. BD. Kabu. Lipard. Sizzlybead. A glaring zigzagoon. Scraggy. Rockruff. Vulpix. A reverse Galarian Linoon. And a Machamp Hollow, which I have two of. But again, he, you know, he could be fun to make a deck around. Um, I think he, uh, that crazy Macho's Revenge, where you basically have to put a load of fighting Pokemon in your discard pile. Could be, could be interesting to try it out. So, code card. One, two, three, four. So yeah, I like playing the um, Mad Party deck at the moment, which is quite cool. And that would have a similar feel to it, but you'd have, I'd have to just flit with fighting Pokemon. So, fighting. Great ball. Sonya. Rotom Bike. Scraggy. Pokeball. Clarion Lanoon. Hatena. Swablu. A reversed TL Grunt. And hey, a Dreadnought, I think. Well, I don't know about everybody else, but he is probably. I've had three now. So that's three in oh, 21 packets, 22 packets. And three. So yeah, quite common. And probably not the greatest Pokemon, but the V the, the V's are generally not that good anyway, are they? We just want them to be V Maxes. So let's stick him in the sleeve anyway. It's another ultra rare hit. And crack on. So yeah, I'd like to see another VMAX if possible. A full art trainer would be nice. Yeah, the hop would be nice. Um, what else is near peers? So, Fire Energy, Hatrem, Rotom Phone, Turfield Stadium, my daughter calling for me in the background, Potion, Vulpix, NK, Pokeball, a Reverse Milo, and a Galarian Obstagoon. Again, another one of the ones in this set that could be quite fun to uh, make a deck around. Oops, got Milo up there. Um, yeah, being able to uh, discard cards out of your opponent's hand until they only have four, I believe. Yeah, could be uh, shenanigans. Just for the bands. All right, one, two, three, four. That's a definite mark on one of these. So PSA 10. Gone forever. So, Psychic Energy, Milo, Turfield Stadium, Beedrill, Nicket, NK, Roly Coley, Sizzlipede, Perline, a reverse Perline, all Perlined up, and a Professor's Research. So, yeah, we got two of the big um, cards. In the recent sets, Marnie and Professor's Research reprinted in this set, which is not a bad thing because, you know, if like me you want to build multiple decks, then you can't get enough of these, and it's pretty cool. So, only four packets to go. The Charizard is still hiding in here somewhere. Four from the back. And we'll start with a water energy. Suspicious food tin, silly card. Malamar, not silly card, silly name of a card. Great ball, Trubbish, Potion, Galarian Linoon, Nicket, Machop, a reverse Piers, and a Hatterene. Again, one of the more common rares in this in this set. I think that's the third one of them I've hit 
so far. I think because there's actually not many of these um, hollow rares that you are more likely to uh, just repeatedly hit them, which is a good thing if you want to build a deck, bad thing if you just want to collect a set. Because obviously the ultra rares and secret rares and etc are going to be more rare, so you're going to hit these uh, hollows a lot more. Hatrem, Sonia, Beedra, Hatena, Inke, Weedle, Galarian Linoon, Caravana, a reverse Malamar. I don't think I have a reverse Malamar yet, so that's quite cool. And a a full art Gratlocked V. Very nice. So we've hit a VMAX, a V, and a full art V in eight packs. So that is pretty sweet. I don't have this in my set either. So oh, that's pretty nice. Let's stick a sleeve. Oops, PSA 10 out the window. I always say that, but I've never actually ever, ever sent a card to PSA. It's on the things to do list. I think uh, myself and a few of my friends, when we uh, get enough cards together, we put in a bulk um, lot and uh, send some off. So, pack nine Psychic Energy. Milo, Turfield Stadium, Victini, Ekans, Swablu, NK, Hatima, Kakuna, a reverse Pokemon Center Lady, and hey, a Hollow Marnie. Very nice. Very nice. I need a few of these for some decks I've got built at the moment. So, stick that. Up there, let's not hide Scrafty because we needed Scrafty as well. Pokemon Center Lady. So, only one left. Here's Charizard hiding in my last pack. Is anything hiding in my last pack? Is it going to be last pack magic? So, let's have a quick look. We have a water energy. Hop, Piers, Sonia, Caravana, Potion, Machop, a Roly Coley, a Caravana, a Reverse, Silly Food Tin, and oh, another full art Graplocked V. Wow, so two in a box. So that gives us four decent hits out of ten packs, which is pretty good. Pretty good. That's, uh, you know, four or five out of these. And um, I think you've got to be pretty pleased, you know, to get two full arts and a V and some of the trainers. So let's scoop these up. And let's just go through the hits. So we have Dreadnought. Like I said, seems fairly common. One of the ones you'll probably see quite a lot. Graplock V and his mate, Graplock V. I love Graplock. He was one of the ones in my team in uh, Pokemon Sword. I think that's the one I was playing. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. And another Alcremi V Max. All I've got to do now is uh, find a couple of Alcremi Vs <laughs> and I will be able to play her. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. We didn't hit the Charizard, but as you all know, we get a Charizard anyway. So five big hits out of these Elite Trainer boxes seems pretty good to me. Um, Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and um, we will see you next time. Thank you very much.